Hi guys, it's Didi here and today I'm gonna show you what my toddler Mika eats in a day because the question I most often ask is what we feed him. We usually cook simple things, different every day and we make sure he gets a balanced diet throughout the week. Enough proteins, carbs and fat with lots of veggies and fruits. Today I will be cooking for him as I do during the weekends, but on weekdays his nanny is in charge of the cooking and she usually cooks while we have breakfast. For breakfast we normally have fruits with kefir or yogurt on the side or scrambled eggs, banana pie, avocado or simply spoons of almond butter. Today Mika wanted a pineapple, so I'm fighting here with the pineapple. It turned out it was too soft, so it was gone really bad. I had to throw it and change my mind. I decided to make his favorite banana pie instead. It's super easy to make. I have the recipe on my YouTube channel. I'm going for a light version today, only two bananas, you mash them with fork, you add two spoons of uh, butter, nut butter, in this case I use walnut butter, but you can use any sort of butter. You mix two eggs with a little bit of soda, mix it all together and bake it for 10-15 minutes. We absolutely love this recipe and honestly Mika has been having that since he was seven months old, at least twice a week. And I thought that he would have an of it, but he doesn't seem to be having an of it. He always likes to have it for breakfast and snack. While I'm baking the banana pancake, I usually take out some fruits. Berries are the best for breakfast for us. And uh, I brew some tea, either herbal tea or peppermint tea, which again is a herbal tea. And now our banana pie is ready, voila. I will just transfer it on the plate. I'm going to have breakfast with Mika today. I arrange a couple of berries alongside it and sprinkle with coconut flakes. And now is the time to have Mika to help me. That's something which I've been doing since he turned two years old. I always ask him to come and help me to put the things on the table. And you know, he's very responsive, responsible. He's very careful when he carries his plate. And I think that that's a great way to have him helping me and then to put good habits into place from early on. He's enjoying his breakfast here. I'm just gonna bring him some yogurt. Today we don't have kefir. Kefir or yogurt are a great source of probiotics. I'm just gonna give him a spoon of manuka honey. This is something which I've been giving him since he got sick last month. And manuka honey has great antibacterial qualities and he really, really enjoys it. And that's his yogurt. So that's it, our usual breakfast. For lunch today, we're going to have something simple, sweet potatoes, you wash them, and I'm gonna give you a secret here. It's good if you can dry them with a little bit of a kitchen paper because they are much more tastier when you bake them. Cut them on slices, sprinkle some salt and pepper, mix them well with olive oil and bake them for about 35-40 minutes. And we love sweet potatoes. They're a great source of vitamin A, high in vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin D, iron, magnesium, potassium, and I can go on and on. And I must admit that uh, Mika goes sometimes for food fats, so sometimes he doesn't really want to eat them. But, you know, we keep offering them to him. Sometimes he eats them, sometimes he doesn't. But definitely I do eat them if he doesn't. And now I'm going to make some quinoa. We cook with quinoa a lot. We've been cooking with quinoa since Mika was a little baby, six, seven months old. And uh, it's, it's, it's a great source of all the essential amino acids. It's good to know that when you cook quinoa, you should rinse it really well because there is a natural coat called saponin and it tastes bitter or soapy. And while we're waiting for the quinoa to get cooked, I will just put a small piece of fish as well. We either bake the fish as it is, salmon or codfish, or alternatively we do the fish pie at least once a week. And that's our quinoa. It's ready. We can serve it either on its own with a little bit of butter or we mix it with avocado or with cottage cheese. Let's put our beautiful sweet potatoes and this is what a lunch would look like. And now it's time to share our lunch with Mika. He's having his drink. This is the golden milk, the turmeric milk, because I did a video about it and he really enjoys this drink. And he'll have different uh, piece of food. He doesn't always eat everything, but he would at least have pieces of uh, most food. 
Today I don't think that he enjoyed the quinoa that much, but we always keep it for later. So he can have it either for dinner or we can have it with yogurt tomorrow. He definitely enjoys his yogurt though. Today he's aware of the camera, so maybe he's showing off a bit. But at least he enjoys his food. The snack is about 4 o'clock uh, in the afternoon after he wakes up and usually in the summer or in the autumns we are outside, not in the winter, now it's dark after 3.30 here in London and it's really cold so we're staying at home. He would have whatever is left from the breakfast, this is the banana pancake and we give him lots and lots of fruits. We're gluten free so we don't eat bread, breadsticks, muffins, cakes and he he's happy with that, he eats his berries his recent favorite fruit is pomegranate. He would have sometimes the whole fruit or even two fruits every now and then. And he likes the coconut water. And that's Mika who knows that he's on camera. So he's giving you a show, guys. <laughs> So that's what he would have, the berries, the pomegranates, the coconut water or some yogurt on the side. We are definitely heavy on fruits for breakfast and snack. Above you, above you, I am Mika. Above you, I am Mika. And I am. <laughs> Today for dinner I will make a wild rice with vegetables and usually cook two different types of rice, either this wild rice that you see here or the white rice risotto that I made a video about it probably a month ago. I just checked what sort of vegetables we have in the refrigerators and today I'll cook with parsnip and broccoli. I cut the parsnip on small pieces and I'll add them about 10 to 15 minutes before the wild rice is done. If you want to cook wild rice, you have to know it takes about 45-50 minutes, it really takes long. You can soak the rice in the morning and it will take you half of the time. Here I add the parsnip and I put some water on, in the steamer to cook the uh, broccoli. What I do with broccoli, I sprinkle them with sea salt, with olive oil, then a little bit of black pepper, and what I do, I add sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, the same seeds that I add to our salads in the evening. It's not only nutritious, but it really gives different tastes to the broccoli. And that's it for dinner. I will just cook the fish that you saw I made for lunch, fresh. It doesn't take long, that's why I decided to make it uh, from scratch in the evening. It's just baking it for 15-20 minutes. And this is Mika, he's giving us his show, pre-dinner show. He does that every evening, he absolutely loves running around and singing and dancing. Here he helps us with the salad. Salad is one of the things that we make every single day and he loves serving us. He sometimes eats, he sometimes he doesn't. He loves the tomatoes, but not the cucumbers. So we just never force him, he eats whatever he wants. He would have here the celery with hummus, another favorite in our family. And he would have a couple of spoons of cottage cheese. We never ever force Mika with food. He eats whatever he wants. Sometimes he goes through food fats, he refuses to eat something that he has been eating for the last one, for the last month, every single day. He would love sweet potatoes, then he wouldn't want to see them for days. He would love broccoli, then he wouldn't want to eat them. But we just leave him to enjoy food as much as he wants. And he's in this age when he can actually tell us what he wants. So that's it, he knows he's giving you a show, a performance here, so he can show off how he can put his leg on the chair. And uh, this is really a typical dinner in our family. We don't cook separately for Mika, we've never cooked separately for Mika, maybe only when he was six months old for a month but he's been uh, weaned with the baby led weaning, he's been introduced to solid foods uh, without us making him any puree. So more or less what you see him eating here is what he has been eating since he was six, seven months old. And 
I hope you really like this video, guys. If you like it, give me a thumb up. Let me know in the comments. Do you want me to make more of these videos? Do you want me to make a video of how we fit Miko or how he fits himself when we travel? And just let me know. So have a great evening and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.